Let's quickly look at one piece of type uh, to understand uh, how we're going to be doing this setting. So I've grabbed an uppercase H, or capital H. Now every piece of type or kind of type, so these capital H's or all of my commas, those are referred to as a sort, right? So all of the capital H's in that uh, compartment is my capital H sort. Um, this is where that phrase out of sorts comes from because if you run out of a particular sort that can be a real problem when you are trying to create a job and we've had a few instances in the shop where we've run out of a particular letter in the midst of a composing job and we've had to edit the text to use different words that use different letters for instance in order to have enough uh, type when when everything is an object uh, you can run out and that that becomes an actual consideration when you're using letterpress. But if you look at this H, you'll notice that there's the, uh, there's the letter itself. And then on the side, we have this little indentation, right? Oh, can we see that? Yeah, there we go. And that is the nick. Now that, some people, you know, students have thought maybe that latches into something or, you know, something along those lines, but it's nothing like that. It's just for feel. When compositors were setting text, they would be able to set by the feel. They wouldn't have to look at the drawer. They would have the case memorized and would know it in the same way that you probably type on your computer keyboard without really um, looking down at your fingers all the time. That nick there tells us where the bottom of the letter is, right? Now H, if we accidentally got it upside down, would probably be okay, although the baseline would be slightly off. You notice there's a little space there at the bottom that if it was upside down, wouldn't be there. It would look like it wasn't in line with the rest of the letter. But this could be, you know, a bigger deal with some other letter. So if I grab from my K sort, let my camera focus here. Come on. There we go. Um, if this was upside down, right, it would be completely backward. And so that Nick tells me where, uh, where the bottom of the letter is. And you'll see when I start to put these in the stick, I want all those nicks to be lined up.